Now, I don't remember ever seeing my dad with a miner's helmet on. I saw my dad going to work and coming back from work with a flat cap on and his pit boots. Now, this commission from Rhea depicts that. You know, it's not a political thing, it's a celebration and it's all about head. And it's amazing how a little tiny mining village like Putney Hall has so much history. Not what people don't realise well in this area is the miners were working extraordinary hours and kids, you know, little children were down They the fought to, to make conditions better. Also, God Hetton was the first deep mine sunk in the world. And of course, with the mines came the locomotive. And it was Stevenson, Stevenson's brother, who designed one up here. And the railway transported the coal from Eppleton Quarry, or the Lions, because there was quite a few quarry, to Sutherland. So that was the first railway. For a little tiny northeast village, there's an awful lot of history. Eppleton Quarry finally closed in 1986, with many people losing their jobs and the mountain and culture of Hetton also vanishing with it. There is now Hetton Lions Country Park, where the pit used to be, with no signs that the pit was ever there. The Hetton for Culture Group are now fundraising for sculpture in the middle of Hetton to remember the men that were in the mine and the people who died while working there. Charity has been formed to raise funds for a sculpture by a local artist called Ray Lonsdale. So we, de we came up with the design of an old miner and a young boy, the young boy being his son. We did this because the local pits, especially Eppleton, lost a lot of young boys in mining disasters from as young as eight year old. So we then had to go about setting up a charity and starting his funds. And we're busy fundraising. We've had a variety of events on. We've had punk nights. We've had a clairvoyant night. We um, go to the local fairs where the, the sculptures stand on this on a big plinth. And we've worked it out and get about 500 tiles on of individuals' names. So we're selling space on the plinth to people who want to dedicate to all miners, fathers, sons, whoever. In the offing for April, we've got a group of people coming to play. Yeah, we've got another clairvoyant night, a fashion show sorted out. And we're just continuing to do events like that.